welcome to SQL video tutorials. This video I am going to explain about the order by clause in SQL queries. So earlier we have covered the select a query with a from class, where class and distinct and other literals that means as well as other operators. So this video I am going to explain about order by class. If you want to display your data with some sequence, this may be ascending or descending order. That time we will be going for this order by class. So if you are not specifying any ascending or descending, default will be ascending order. And if you want to display descending order, you can use DESE, that is descending order. For ascending, we will be using AC. For descending, we will be using DESE. Let's start with one example. So here I am going to show with the employee table which is available in my HR schema. Employees. So this table I am using for practice. Let's start with the order by class. So here I am using order by. So it's a space. Order by is a keyword. Uh, it's a class. Okay. And we can use uh, after uh, from class. And if you have a where class, after where class. So end of the class we can use this. Okay. Then we can specify any column. For example, I have a department number. I have a salary here. Look at this. I want to display salary with the descending order. So what we can do? Order by salary DESC. We have to specify DESC. Now you can see salary is displaying from max to minimum. That is descending order. Same thing. If you are looking for descending order with the multiple columns. Multiple columns means I am looking for salary with department ID. Okay. So department ID comma. So here we have to specify every column separated by comma and we can specify individual as well. Let's see this. Now department ID and the salary. So salary I have specified as descending. So what will happen? This is ascending, it is displaying, and the salary is displaying descending. You can see here. So first column it will display ascending. For that, again it will display descending. For 10th, we have only one uh, employee that salary. For 20th, you can see two employees and that salary it is displaying descending. So salary I am specified as a descending. So if you want to specify for department also descending, you can specify here DESC. So if you are not specifying anything default, it will consider as ascending. Let's see this. Now you can see. Now both are descending. Now you can see here. First department ID descending because the default it will display up uh, descending as a null values if you have null values. Then starting with the maximum value. So 110 department ID having two employees and their salary again it is displaying descending order. Both are displaying descending order. If you look at 100 employees, both you can see max to minimum salaries. Same thing if you look at 90 employee uh, department ID 90, you can see descending order. So like this we can go for displaying data with the ascending or first name. So I'm displaying again adding another column called the first name. So these two will be displaying uh, descending, then third will be displaying ascending. So if you're not specifying anything, it will default to display ascending and the precedence from here to here, left to right. Let's see this here. So my department ID default it is displaying uh, salary and dragging uh, here. See my department ID descending and inside my department again salary is again descending. If you look at uh, 100 uh, department ID, there are multiple empl uh, employees. Here you can see this, uh, their first name should be ascending. Now you can see here this department N, D, J, J, I, L, all are displaying as descending order. So this is the way we can go for displaying data in descending order. Only you can see this based on this salary. 
because first it will go to department id it will sort maximum to minimum then again salary maximum to minimum that is descending order then it will go to your name ascending order okay is the order then instead of column names you can specify the your column number order let's see the example i'm selecting first name last name salary department id from employees see here i'm not specified any uh, ascending or descending now i'm going to specify order by four four means this is the fourth position here order here you can see from one to fourth if you specify here four it will consider as fourth default is ascending order if you are looking for descending you can specify descending here now it, you can see it is displaying descending now same thing if you are looking for other columns separate by comma then i am looking for salary salary is the third position with ascending ascending means without specifying means default it will consider as ascending if you want to specify you can specify this now you can see this is my uh, ascending it is displaying this is the descending same thing for 100 you can see minimum to maximum it is displaying so here i am giving here position of your column that is order by 4 again descending comma order 3 again ascending so like this we can go for we can display the data ascending or descending for any characters strings or numbers or date anything so if you have a in this table you have a high date okay if you are looking for high date now you can see high date so default i am displaying as a ascending if you want to specify descending you can specify descending now you can see 2008 is a maximum to minimum you can see 2005 2004 2 like this so this is the way we can go for using order by clause in sql queries in sql queries we can specify column names we can specify column order or we can specify alias names so you have to remember one more thing that is alias name for example i have alias names f name and another alias name l name last name salary dept member same thing here i can use directly alias name sal now you can see this sal alias name it is displaying ascending order so you can switch by descending it will be displayed as a descending so we can use alias names we can use direct column names or we can use order whichever you are selecting the columns so this is the way we can go for using order by class in sql queries thank you for watching my videos please subscribe my channel to get more videos and updates my channel thank you very much